Well, did you know that there's an estimated five trillion, that's right, with a T, pieces of trash in the world's oceans? An estimated eight million pieces of trash enter the ocean every single day. Staggering numbers that we need to turn around, and today is a great day to start doing that. And you know why that is? Today is International Coastal Cleanup Day, and thousands of volunteers around the U.S. will be participating in local efforts to clean up the shores near where they live. I think we need an expert. We've got one, Dara Schoenfeld, Schoenwald, uh, the, the executive director of volunteercleanup.org. We appreciate you being with us. We know your organization organizes cleanup efforts all around Miami-Dade County in Florida. We appreciate your time. But tell us, how many cleanup events do you have scheduled around Miami for today? So for the International Coastal Cleanup in Miami-Dade, we have 70 cleanups organized all over the county, covering basically every stretch of beach, shoreline, neighborhoods, canals, all the waterways, and we're expecting 4,000 volunteers to turn out today. That's amazing, and I know that takes a lot of organizational skill, right? But can people who are watching now maybe still come out and, and help out last minute, and where should they go to find a cleanup near them? They can go to volunteercleanup.org if they're in the Miami area. Some of our cleanups are sold out, but we do have space for last minute volunteers. The cleanups start at 9, 10. Uh, we even got one at 5.30 this evening. And after this weekend, we do this year round. So anyone can visit our platform. It's a free resource to the community where anybody can organize a cleanup and post it to our website and anybody can come and find one. There's about six to 10 every single weekend in Miami-Dade. Okay, I, I got to ask you, do, do you ever feel overwhelmed by, by how much trash that you're seeing out there that needs to be cleaned up? How, how do you stay motivated? How do you keep inspired by all of this? So the thing for us is that the cleanup we know is not the long-term answer to the ocean trash uh, problem, but it is an eye-opening experience that can be a very important educational opportunity. So we try to focus on showing people the reality of the situation, all this trash behind me that you can see. Of course, we're not going to pick up every single piece, but the volunteers who participate today, we hope, will leave uh, thinking more about this issue and hopefully changing some of their decisions and behaviors. And Dara, I'm not sure how long you've been involved with this movement, but I'm curious, you know, what kinds of things people find, too. Sometimes it's not all trash, right? Sometimes you find treasures out there. Uh, we do. We have found a $100 bill in the past before that uh, was given to me uh, nicely as a donation. Uh, most of it is, unfortunately, plastic, single-use plastics. And recently, we've seen a shift in the things we find with bottle caps uh, being the number one, one most uh, identified item, all the tiny microplastics that have broken up. Uh, polystyrene, otherwise known as styrofoam, are some of the biggest contenders, uh, straws, plastic bags, basically all of the single-use items that we use to eat and drink every day. You know, uh, every now and then you have to have someone step to the forefront and make a difference in, in things out there. And Dara Schoenwald, you're one of those people. We really do appreciate your time, your efforts, great organization. And we know that every moment out there certainly helps to the, to the greater good. Yes, thank you so thank much you so for joining much. us.